is John. Welcome back to the farm. Uh, rainy, yucky day again. But uh, we've got work to do. We've moved pigs around today. And uh, my wife's allergies are telling us it's time to get these guys out. So I need to build a chick shaw. Uh, got the meat birds over here. And we've added the Polish because the Polish are getting their heads pecked out by these guys. So word of advice, this is the second time this has happened to us. Chickens without head feathers are wondering what the heck those head feathers are. And so they start pecking. And so your top hats get their heads pecked. So we've moved them in with the meat birds. You can see that one meat bird trying to peck that other one already. We'll keep an eye on them and see how they do. But we're going to be building two chick shaws in the end. We'll have two. And uh, we'll have one for the Polish. And we will have one for the uh, Bielefelders as well. Um, we are going to make a couple modifications because there's a couple things on the Justin Rhodes chick shaw that I don't care for. And uh, first one is the size. All the birds, whenever you look at them in, at night, they, uh, they are huddled in a corner. So they're six by six in his plans. We're going to try a four by four chick shaw. Um, and we'll make some other modifications and I'll let you know about those as we go. But I've got the saw out been cutting some boards getting ready so we'll get started on our third our third chick shaw third and fourth we're gonna have a chick shaw army here by the time we're done so let's get started good start on it for day one had to figure out some different measurements because the measurements were for a six by six this is only a four by four so it's coming along good the only thing I forgot to do was last time we painted the bottom before we put the wire on so that kind of irritated me but we'll figure that out I might just paint what I can the rest of it should be under the roof anyway got a three nesting bars top on got some braces to put in build the roof and uh we'll get this one done um we might try to do a bigger one for the uh Bielefelders and we'll just see how that works we can always change out some of the other ones if we can take the americanas out and put them in here but 
we'll get back out tomorrow and finish this thing up hopefully all right guys day two of the modified chick shaw build um looking at the front right here we got to put some uh door frame posts in here we'll do some bracing on the sides and uh then we're going to be putting legs and wheels on i'm gonna have to run to lowe's to get some of the hardware for that hopefully i can get brooklyn out here to help me start painting it while i run and do that so let's get this thing started hopefully we'll finish up one today and we only got one left to build and a bunch more two by fours you can never have enough two by fours so these are the tires we've been using they're just nine inch wheels we found on amazon was the hardware i'm going to be using so uh let's get those put together and i'll kind of show you what i did once it's finished okay all we got is uh a nut, a couple of bolts, and a washer on the inside. You can't really see it. I put a washer on this side. Got a bolt in there to keep my spacing. And then just another, I'm sorry, another nut. I got a nut in there and another nut here to keep my spacing. And we've got a good roll. I built this to keep the bracket separated. And then we'll just place it down. in here on the cart and put a brace around it and I'll show you how I do that once it's finished. Got the wheels installed. See I just set them on there and I formed a bracket around. I screwed them in and that wheel is not going anywhere. Got it screwed in on this side. All we got left is we're gonna paint nest boxes, handles, door, and siding. So, slowly but surely, Bones got it done. weather we're obviously gonna have sides and a roof on here so we're not painting everything this isn't for looks it's just to add uh well it does look nicer but just add some life to the wood and protect it from some of the elements uh we are freezing right now so we will come back for day three see what it looks like all right well it's day four i did some work yesterday on the chickshaw. This is gonna be for Brooklyn's Polish chickens. Uh, we got the back. I wanted to do a different nesting boxes. So I just built three nesting boxes in there and we'll be able to get in, get eggs, get new hay when we need it. Um, we'll see how this setup works. 
Uh, let's see what we got left. We got to put sides and a back on. We got to put the roof on yet. And we got the door, which I found this old piece of wood that I had uh, used previously and Brooklyn thought it was pretty, so she wanted that to be on the outside. So it's her thing. She can do what she wants, right? So the only issue we got is this is uh, quite steep right now, but I think we'll put uh, a board underneath and prop that up a little bit. They'll be able to jump up and get in there. Uh, didn't paint the insides because uh, this is extra. We didn't paint the insides because it's gonna have a roof on it. Uh, so we've got the front handles to put on so we can pull it. We've got the roof to put on today and the sides and we will be done so let's get started Okay, well, we got the roof, the sides, and the back on. Took me two sheets of this white roofing, plus some leftovers I had from last time, which worked out perfect. Um, on the front, I'm gonna put wire on one side, and I'm gonna put the plastic on one side, because I'm gonna hang a feeder in there behind the plastic side, so if it rains, it doesn't get wet. Leave one side with just wire for some ventilation and we will be good to go. Brooklyn's running to get the paint to paint this handle and this shawl will be done. Okay guys, we are done with the mini Shaw. We'll put plans below from Justin Rhodes. Um, this is his design. Uh, we'll put those in the link below. Uh, so she's got her fancy door. We put a handle on here to help this door be easier to open and shut. Um, the only problem we talked, I think we talked about, the ramp is quite steep, so we might put a piece of wood under there just to help it not be so steep. But inside, I'm not gonna hang the feeder yet because the chickens are so small. We'll just put the feeder in there. As they get older, I'll hang it up from the roof there. Got the nesting boxes, which they don't need right now. If they start to sleep in those, we'll block those off so they can't get in there yet. The roof and sides, all finished. Got the handle painted. Put another handle back here to help with the uh, nesting boxes to get the eggs. Go ahead and open that up. And that way we can get in and we can get the eggs. Or so. you could go in front by the door. <laughs> yeah, but we don't want to crawl through the front, but we can if we need to. Okay, so this was initially my thought was going to be for the Bielefelders. This is obviously going to be way too small for them, but this is perfect for Brooklyn's Polish crew. So we're going to go get them. They were in with the... Uh, they're in with the meat birds because the other ones were pecking their heads. So we're going to go get the Polish 
and bring the Polish outside so they can enjoy some of this nice sunshine. Okay guys, we finally got them outside. Just Polishes. This is the Polish trip crew. Not sure if they'll even go up inside the Chickshaw. We'll still probably bring them inside at night because it's gonna get chilly at night still, but at least out here today, they'll have some sunshine, some green grass, and not have anyone pecking their heads. So that is good. We're excited to have this little group. Once they get bigger, we'll put them in there with pancake and waffles who are in with the pigs, and we'll probably run these guys all with some pigs. So thank you guys for watching this build. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and check us out on Instagram. Okay guys, we'll check you on the next video.